So there are three types of Hajj. There is a Hajj which is known as Atamattu, and second which is Qiran, and third which is Ifrad. These are three different types of Hajj. As for Hajj Atamattu, what is it? The Hajj Atamattu is for a person to perform a complete Umrah in the time zone of Hajj which we mentioned from the beginning of Shawwal before the days of Hajj. And this is before the stopping at Arafah which is the 9th of Dhul Hijjah. From, yani from the beginning of Shawwal yeah, all the way to the 9th of Dhul Hijjah a person performs a complete Umrah. And then the one who is performing Hajj at he shortens the hair and he does not shave. And after having performed the Umrah this person who is performing Hajj at then he exits from the state of Ihram. When does he resume his Ihram and place on the clothings of Ihram once more? As we said, on the 8th of Dhul Hijjah, uh, before Zawal, he has to as make the Talbiyah or the intention and then assume the state of Ihram once more. And then he performs Umrah uh, Hajj as we mentioned, meaning he goes to Arafah, he has to stay the night at Muzdalifah, and then he has to stay the night in Mina during the days of Tashriq, the 11th, and he has to perform the tawaf which is known as tawaf al-ifada and this is a tawaf which is done after stopping at araf and then he has to make the sa'i of al-hajj meaning he has made two sets of tawaf because the first one was made in his umrah and the second one is the tawaf al-ifada and he has performed two sets of sa'i either sa'i in his first umrah and now the sa'i as part of his hajj and then the one who's doing hajj al upon him is to slaughter the animal and hajj al yani this form or this type of hajj it is the best form and the most virtuous the most rewarding and allah knows best and then the second type of hajj is known as qiran meaning the person he combines between hajj and umrah meaning he does not come out of his ihram he stays within the ihram the two types of hajj either qarin and ifrad their actions are exactly the same, different to the mutmatte. The only difference is that the one who is doing the Hajj al-Qur'an, then he has to slaughter the animal. And the one who is doing the Hajj al-Ifrad, he does not slaughter the animal. So what is the description of the Hajj of Qur'an and Ifrad? That he makes the Ihram for Hajj, he enters into the state of Ihram from the Miqat. So the Mufrid and the Qarin, they enter into Mecca after assuming the state of Ihram and they make Tawaf and as sai Or the person can delay his Sa'i until after standing at Arafah. Meaning he can either go to Mina on the 8th day of Dhul Hijjah or he can go to Arafah on the 9th day of Dhul Hijjah. So he stands at Arafah and then Araf, from Arafah he returns to Muzdalifa and then from Muzdalifa he goes on to Mina and then he stays the nights of the days of Tashriq and then he has to make Tawaf either Tawaf al-Ifadah after stopping at Arafah and then he makes the Sa'i of Al-Hajj 